Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do an unboxing video for you to show you the Freddie Mercury box set Never Boring that came out recently. Um, he once said in the quote, you can do whatever you like with my music but never make me boring. So they've attempted to do that here and I think they've certainly succeeded. It's a very good box set and there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. And I'm also going to compare it to the original Solo Collection box set that came out in 2000 that I've also got. It's much bigger than this, much more um, comprehensive. So I just thought I'd compare the two just to show you the differences and just so you can see what's on the other box set because it's um, not been kind of widely on sale for a while so you perhaps might not be aware of it if you haven't uh, seen it in the past. And um, But we'll look at the Never Boring box set first of course, this came out this past week. Um, it's got very eye-catching artwork on the front, it's got Freddie partying, he's topless and looking through someone's legs and they're wearing fishnet stockings and a feathery kind of pink and green skirt. Could be a lady, could be a man. Um, I think I can see some um, leg hair there, so it may well be a man, which is perfectly possible. One of Freddie's parties, and that's absolutely fine. It's got his signature as well, and never boring, the title. And yeah, it's just a very nice eye-catching cover. It captures like, Freddie's fun-loving personality perfectly. You know, he loved having a good time. So that's really attractive. I paid $79.99 for this on Amazon. Um, it's been available in the Queen store for $77.99 as I write this and it may be cheaper elsewhere It may come down in sales of course as time goes on, but I think it's you know why it's quite a lot of money I think it's worth it for the amount of stuff and um, you get in here and what you get um, In terms of music is listed on the back. So you get three CDs You've got a never boring compilation, which I'll come back to in a minute and Then you've got mr. Bad guy special edition and um, obviously there's a lot of good tracks on there uh, Let's turn it on made in heaven. I was born to love you falling around your kind of lover. Mr. Bad guy man-made paradise There must be more to life than this living on my own My love is dangerous and love me like there's no tomorrow. This is a brand new 2019 Remaster of the entire album. So all the tracks sound a bit different to the original I mean, they're still you know the same structure and everything but they've gone back to the original master tapes and you know Remix them so they can sound as good as they possibly can So, you know the percussion and bass and things like that are much more prominent in the mix now They're much stronger and um, so some of the tracks have got much more kind of power and drive to them And yeah, I think it just sounds really good I mean, it's not a replacement to the original album because some of the mixes are you know quite different in some ways um, it's kind of a compliment to it, it's an addition to it, so I don't see this as a replacement for the original. It's just an alternative way of looking at the same work, really. Um, some people don't necessarily like the new mixes, some people may prefer them to the old ones, it's entirely your choice. I happen to like both. So it's a really nice album, there's a nice mix of songs on there, some upbeat ones that you can kind of have a dance and a jig along to, and some nice ballads as well. And then the other special edition album is the Barcelona album. This is the 2012 um, version that was previously released and that has a full orchestra behind all the music as opposed to the synthesizers and drum machines that were on the original Barcelona album. So this is more like how Freddie probably wanted it to be heard really if he'd had the opportunity. And it sounds brilliant for it. Again, the original album is perfectly acceptable, perfectly great, and I'm gonna keep that. Um, but this is a nice alternative way again of listening to the tracks. I think with a symphony orchestra, they sound absolutely beautiful. When I originally got this, I um, got the four disc set that came out. So you had um, this special edition album, a disc of instrumentals, you had a disc of some of the best of the rarities in the sessions that you'll see in the solo collection box set later anyway. And then you had a DVD with related videos as well, including a little mini documentary about how the special edition was made. The one thing that was also on that four disc set was a bonus track on the Barcelona special edition album, which was an alternative version of How Can I Go On, which featured a violinist, David Garrett, which isn't on here, unfortunately. They've left that off, so that's a shame. And there's also, though, a version of The Golden Boy, uh, the horn mix, that also isn't on this compilation. And it wasn't on the original box set either, because that was only released on the promo single of Barcelona. So that's quite a rare track, but it's worth looking up on YouTube, because although it's shorter than the original Golden Boy track, it's got a great mix to it. You know, the horn section they've added really gives it even more life, and it's already quite a catchy song. So... Yeah, it's worth looking up. So those two special edition albums are great. Um, they, you know, they sound really good in comparison to the originals, which are still also wonderful in their own right. And they're never boring. The first disc in the set is the compilation. Now there are a few duplications on here because there are a few tracks on here that are already on the Mr. Bad Guy or Barcelona albums, the same new mixes as it were, but there's some other tracks as well. In terms of new mixes, perhaps the most notable ones are The Great Pretender and Love Kills. They've both got very strong new mixes with some new enhancements added as well. So they do sound a little bit different to the originals, but again, I think it's to their benefit. I think um, the things that have been added make them sound you know, a little bit better than before, but again, 
the originals are still good. In my defense is the 2000 remix that was made and they obviously felt it wasn't necessary to do a 2019 remix as well because the 2000 mix is already a bit stronger than the original and yeah, it again sounds a little bit better so that's a nice mix too and it is of course a beautiful song as well. Living on my own you might think that's the special edition mix from the Mr. Bad Guy album but on this compilation it's actually the No More Brothers radio mix from 1993 which is a very good mix so they haven't bothered including the 2019 master on the compilation, it's only on the Mr. Bad Guy album. I'm going to skip track 10 just for a second and go on to She Blows Hot and Cold, which is quite a rare track in the sense that it was a non-album B-side when it was released. It never appeared on any album, so it's only surfaced on one or two compilations since then. But it's a really fun track and I'm glad they've taken the opportunity to bring it out and, you know, remaster it and make it sound even more powerful and catchy than it already was. But then track 10 is perhaps the most special and significant track on the entire release because it's Time Waits for No One. And this is an alternative version of the track Time that Freddie did. Um, it was from the Time musical and it was written by Dave Clark. And what Dave Clark has done is he's rediscovered an old demo rehearsal that was recorded by Freddie. Um, with alternative vocals to the final take of the song that we know. So he's taken the vocals from that and Mike Moran has put a brand new piano track with it. So basically you've just got an acoustic version of Time with just Freddie's vocals and piano. None of the orchestral type stuff that was on the original song. So it's very stripped back and it just sounds amazing. I mean, Freddie's voice is just incredible and hearing it in this way really brings it to the fore and just shows you how amazing he was. It's really powerful. It was brought out earlier this year, so some people will know it already, but it's nice to see it included on here. So it's a great you know, bunch of CDs. It's not every track that Freddie's ever done by any means, but it's good fair selection of them and all of these albums are available individually as well so if you don't want to get the whole set you can buy all these separately and then you've got the promotional videos as well um, these are available on dvd and blu-ray where possible you've got the new remastered audio played with the videos so they sound even better than before and the visuals have also been improved because they've gone back to the original 35 millimeter rushes so these are the videos in as best a way as you can possibly see them so you've got made in heaven the Great Pretender, Living On My Own. There's two versions of Living On My Own because again you've got the uh, radio mix as well as the newly remastered version. You've got Barcelona, um, I Was Born To Love You, Time Waits For No One which is the new song I just talked about. You don't get the original Time video as a result. In My Defence, um, then you've got a few uh, live performances um, from the Barcelona album of Barcelona, How Can I Go On and The Golden Boy performed at La Nit. Um, these are mimed, they weren't actually singing live, Freddie and Montserrat, but they're still nice performances to watch nonetheless. Then you've got a few bonus videos as well, Freddie Mercury and Dave Clark doing an interview in relation to the Time musical, so that's quite fun, just a short little interview. Um, you've got the Great Pretender extended version, that's a brilliant video. There's a lot of really fun behind the scenes stuff and they're having a good laugh, so that's really well worth watching. And then you've got a bonus version of Barcelona, another live performance from Coup Club there, which is again mimed, but again it's interesting to see it. So you've got a nice selection of videos there. You haven't quite got everything, you haven't got the original version of Time, you haven't got the alternative edit of In My Defence, and there's probably one or two other bits they might be missing, but you've got, you know, pretty much all the essentials here, to be honest. Subtitles are available for the interview with Dave Clark and for the spoken sections of the Great Pretender extended video. Not for the actual sung lyrics of any of the songs, but just for those two little bits. And the sound is all in stereo, so if you have the original... Uh, videos that were released either on Video Collection or Lover of Life, Singer of Songs, then you won't have the original surround sound mixes that were on those. You also don't get the director's commentaries that are on those previous collections, all the other extra features that were on the Lover of Life, Singer of Songs DVD with the videos. So this is a very kind of basic video compilation in that sense. There's no extras other than those few bonus videos. So if you've got previous video collections on DVD, keep those. Um, these are just more kind of remastered videos bringing them up to date. So again, as I said with the CDs, everything here is an addition to your Freddie Mercury collection, not necessarily a replacement, just an alternative, more modern way of looking at his music. And you know, that's not a bad thing. I think Freddie would be very pleased with the way that these tracks have been brought up to date. There's nothing there that seems like he'd be upset by it. It's still staying true to his original vision, to the original structure of every track. So that's great. So in that sense, all the audio is fantastic. And I'll show you the discs as well. I'll explain the artwork on here in a second. But you've got the music in one big cardboard sleeve. And um, so you've got the CDs there. All the discs are white in colour um, with different coloured text on. Um, green on the Never Boring CD, red on the Mr. Bad Guy CD, and dark blue on the 
Barcelona CD. And you basically get Freddie Mercury's signature, the name of the album and his track listing. They're in these little pockets, which are easy enough to get the CDs out of, but obviously the pockets go flat again when you've got the CD out. So some people have had a bit of trouble getting the CDs back in again. It is a bit fiddly. I mean, obviously I've copied all the tracks into iTunes, so I won't be getting the CDs out again. But, you know, they are... Nice simple design, there's nothing particularly amazing. They're easy enough to read, which is good. And then in the other cardboard case, you've got the videos. And these discs are actually in little um, cardboard sleeves of their own, you can just pull out, so they're much easier to kind of get to. Um, the Blu ray there, and then you've got the DVD on the other side. Uh, and the backs of these cases are different colours, so you can tell them apart. And you've got red for the Blu ray and green for the DVD. And the design of the discs themselves also reflects that. As you can see there, that's the Blu-ray disc. Again, you've got the track listing on there. And then the other thing you may have seen poking out just then is a poster. And this is um, a double-sided poster. On the front, you've got an image of Freddie Mercury relaxing outside, sitting on the grass in the sunshine with his sunglasses and a vest on. It's the image from the Mr. Bad Guy album. And that image of Freddie is in black and white as well, so which gives it a slightly different feel compared to the album cover, which was in colour. And then on the back, you've got an unusual artwork by a gentleman called Jack Coulter. And Jack Coulter has synesthesia, which means that his senses kind of combine in slightly different ways than we're used to. So he experiences music and sound as colours. So he was invited to produce his own interpretation of the Mr. Bad Guy song. And this is the result of that. It's a nice kind of selection of colours. It's nice and colourful. You know, got blues and whites in there primarily, especially down the centre. There's some light browns as well around the edge with more kind of blue marks. So, yeah, there is a kind of a pattern to the image in a way, especially for like the central section, kind of like say pointing down, like the white is pointing down and then there's a blue bit kind of pointing down within it. But, yeah, I think I prefer like the Freddy side, the image of Freddy, but it's still nice to have something colourful on the back and sections of that have then been used for the music and film cases that I just showed you. So that's an interesting poster to have. And then the other wonderful prize in this box set is the book that came with it. So on the back you've got a picture of Freddy sitting at the piano there and there's a bigger version of that image in the book. And on the front you've got the same artwork from the front of the box set. Um, when you open it up, there is a little quote in there. This is the dedication from the Mr. Bad Guy album. I'm dedicated to my cat Jerry, also Tom, Oscar and Tiffany and all the cat lovers across the universe. Screw everybody else. And then, yeah, the book is basically a collection of photos and quotes, really. You've got the famous one there at the beginning. You can do anything with my work, but never make me boring. Um, beside a picture of Freddy from his Made in Heaven video. And then you've got a foreword by Rami Malek at the beginning. Um, he played Freddy in the Bohemian Rhapsody movie, very well too, I may add. Um, so he's just singing Freddy's praises there, quite rightly. And then after that, it just is all Freddy all the way. So you've got nice quotes and nice photos um, from across his career. And yeah, all the fun costumes he likes to wear. Um, it's just great. There's some really nice quotes in here and you know, it's just... Yeah, it's just really nice to listen to the music while you're flicking through this. So there's a lot here. I'm not going to show you every page, obviously. Um, but yeah, there's a really nice selection of photos there. There's Freddy and Montserrat Caballé. And some handwritten notes of his. And then you've got lyrics at the back as well for each of the albums. Um, white on green, or white on light green especially, is not easy for me to read. Um, so I wouldn't be able to read them very easily without really concentrating hard. But for Mr. Bad Guy, you've got white on red, which is much easier. And for Barcelona, it's white on blue. So, yeah, it's nice to have those there. Um, obviously, you can look up lyrics on the internet as well if you wish, but it's nice to have them in um, paper form too. And then you've got track listings and credits for the albums. And there's a picture of Freddie turning on the uh, TV, which is the opening of the Blu-ray and DVD list, it kind of launches the menu, so that's good. Yeah, and then you've got credits for the videos there, and just overall credits for the set, which are black on red, so it's completely unreadable for me. And a couple more images at the end. And then a final quote from Freddy. Um, Thank you, God bless, and sweet dreams, you load of tarts. So... Yeah, I think all in all, basically, I think it's a really, really nice package. Um, I, think, I think the remasters sound great, personally. But then if you like the originals, stick with the originals. You know, they're still out there. 
Um, but I just think this is a nice new way of appreciating Freddie's music. I think it really makes this track sound a bit better, a bit more modern. And if it helps to bring Freddie's music to the attention of even more people, um, especially with the greater awareness raised by the Bohemian Rhapsody movie, just making sure he's still in the public consciousness, then that's brilliant. You know, I mean, Freddie's music and Queen's music will live on forever anyway. But, you know, anything that helps you just keep it at the forefront of people's minds is brilliant because he was... Just a complete one-off, a complete genius, a really special performer with such talent and he was taken from us far too soon. You can only imagine what he might be doing today. But he's left a hell of a legacy behind and this is a nice um, way of celebrating that, I think. But that said, um, the original box set from 2000 was really the definitive collection that's never been bettered since. And I just thought I'd show you that just in case you're curious to see what that was like. So here we have the great big solo collection that I've had and for a long, long time. It still had pride of place in my collection ever since I bought it because it's just an amazing compilation. This, yeah, you've just got a very kind of plain box on the front with Freddie Mercury's signature in kind of silver lettering. Um, there was an extra bit on the outside as well, but I put that inside because it was getting a bit damaged. So I'll show you that as I open it up. But um, everything in here is basically contained within a huge book. This is the book from inside the set. It's got Freddie's picture on the front. Um, he's looking very smart there in a leather jacket, I think. And he's got his signature below it. And the bit that was on the outside is this paper bit. So this used to fold inside the um, case, it used to fold around the spine like that. Um, but it became a bit torn because, you know, it got bunched up against other things, I think, and just got a little bit ripped. So I thought I'd keep it inside the book to be safe. But it tells you everything that's inside the set, so it's obviously well worth keeping. So this is a 10 CD and 2 DVD set, presented in a deluxe 120-page slipcase hardback book, featuring the albums Mr. Bad Guy, Barcelona and The Great Pretender. Um, also includes the singles, plus many rare and previously unreleased tracks, as well as Freddie talking candidly in the David Wig interviews and his music as you've never heard it before. The set also includes two DVDs, the video collection with all of Freddie's solo videos, especially remixed for surround sound audio, and The Untold Story by those who know him best, which is a, a lovely documentary, um, which also includes the Freddie Mercury photographic exhibition. A 120-page book featuring many previously unpublished photographs. The foreword by Brian May, a new appraisal by Sean O'Hagan, and an appreciation of each album by Greg Brooks. There's a sample of some of the photos in the book. So first of all, let's go through the track listings, which are on the back here. This is... Uh, a really big selection. So here you've got the Mr. Bad Guy and Barcelona albums, which you know we've already seen on the other set as well. These are the original versions. The Great Pretender is an uh, album of remixes, some from Mr. Bad Guy album, but also a few others as well that were released as singles. This is the American equivalent of the Freddie Mercury album that was released in the UK. They were very similar albums, they just had slightly different track listings, but whatever's missing from here is on other discs in this set anyway, so it doesn't matter. They're actually quite good remixes, some of these. I actually rather like these. Um, the Great Pretender and Mr. Bad Guy remixes I'm rather fond of. Then things start getting interesting um, because we've got two discs of the singles, so anything that's obviously a straight duplication of the album tracks haven't been included but there's some other things on here as well so you've got a single e released under the name Larry Lurex in 1973 with I Can Hear Music and Going Back so that's a really interesting rarity to hear we've got these single and extended versions of Love Kills um, which is interesting because again that wasn't on an original album we had a remix on The Great Pretender but not a track on the actual Mr Bad Guy album I Was Born To Love You got the extended version of that I rather like that Stop All The Fighting was a non-album B-side so you've got the original and extended versions of that Made In Heaven the extended version She Both Hot And Cold is the non-album B-side that you saw was remastered on the new Never Boring set you've got the single and extended versions of that again the extended version is really good Living on My Own, the extended version. My Love is Dangerous, extended. Um, Love Me Like There's No Tomorrow, extended. And Let's Turn It On, extended. So there's a lot of extended versions that were released to those tracks. And they all sound pretty nice. And on the next singles disc, you've got a few versions of Time. You've got the single slash album version because it was part of the Time musical. So it would have been on the soundtrack. And you've also got the extended version and the instrumental version as well. Um, the album version of In My Defense, the original single version of The Great Pretender and the extended versions. 
because again, on the Great Pretender album itself, you've got a remix, not the original version. Exercises in Free Love, which is a non-album B-side. Barcelona, which is a single and extended version, so they're different cuts to the actual album version. How Can I Go On? This is a single version. Then you've got four remixes of Living On My Own. I mean, Living On My Own has had loads and loads of remixes, um, but these are you know, some of the key ones, really. Then you've got a disc of instrumentals, um, which are really nice to listen to because Freddie wasn't just a great vocalist, obviously, he was a great composer, and the instrumentation on his tracks is just beautiful so you've got most of the um, tracks from Barcelona there along with a few others so you've got Barcelona, Le Japonaise, The Fallen Priest, and Sueno, The Golden Boy, Guide Me Home, How Can I Go On, Love Me Like There's No Tomorrow, Made in Heaven, Mr Bad Guy, There Must Be More to Life Than This, In My Defence and The Great Pretender. That's a nice selection of instrumentals. It really does give you a great appreciation for the work that Freddie did musically. And then things get really interesting because you've got three discs of rarities and there's all sorts of early takes and rehearsals and alternative versions and all sorts of things. So the first disc is called the Mr. Bad Guy Sessions. You've got an a cappella version of Let's Turn It On, an alternative version of Made in Heaven, a vocal and piano version of I Was Born to Love You, three versions of Falling Around, an early version, the original 12-inch mix, and an instrumental. Your Kind of Lover, you've got an earlier version and a vocal and piano version. Orchestral outtakes and an early version of Mr. Bad Guy. And there must be more to life than this, piano outtake. And actually one thing, just as an aside, that's worth looking out for, is the Freddie Mercury and Michael Jackson version of There Must Be More to Life Than This. Freddie and Michael Jackson recorded three duets together, but um, Queen have only been able to get the estate to allow them to release one of them since Michael Jackson's death. A couple of remixes were made. Brian May made one of his own mixes, and William Orbit did a mix as well. And it's the William Orbit mix that was released on the Queen Forever compilation. So that's worth looking up, because that's quite an interesting version, the Michael Jackson and Freddie version. But obviously Freddie's solo version is fantastic as well, and the best version really. Living on my own, you've got a hybrid edit of early and later versions here. Love is dangerous, you've got an early version. Love me like there's no tomorrow, you've got three early versions and a live take. She Bros hot and cold, you've got an alternative version. And there's a few demos rounding out that CD as well. Gazelle, money can't buy happiness, love making love, God is heavy in New York. They're all interesting to listen to. Then the next disc is the Barcelona sessions, and these are very interesting. I mean, they've got loads of rehearsal and demo material from this. There's only so much they can give you, but here you've got. A few extracts from the Garden Lodge sessions, so you've got the duet for The Fallen Priest and a couple of ideas for Barcelona. Then you've got a few versions of Barcelona that are kind of more complete. So you've got an early version, Freddie's Vocal Slave and another later version. And the Japanese demo vocal and a cappella versions. Rachmaninoff's Revenge, The Fallen Priest, you've got an early version and a demo vocal. And Sueno, you've got live takes for that. A couple of early versions of The Golden Boy and an a cappella version of it as well. Guide Me Home and How Can I Go On, alternative versions of those. And then a couple of other versions of How Can I Go On, you've got an outtake and an alternative piano version. And then you've got a late night jam, When This Old Tired Body Wants to Sing. So that's a fun way to finish the album. So that's a really good insight into the sessions of Barcelona. It was obviously a huge dream of Freddie's to record in one track goodbye and he really made the most of it and you can tell they really loved their time together now the third rarities disc is full of just other odds and ends basically other rarities so there's a couple of tracks from a couple of bands that Freddie was in before Queen um, you've got a live version of Rain that he did with a band called Ibex and then a rehearsal tape um, of a song called Green that he did with a band called Wreckage they're you know, relatively poor sound quality, but they are very interesting insights into Freddie's early career because they're from 1969. And then you've got a track that Freddie did with Eddie Howell um, called The Man from Manhattan in 1976. There's a couple of tracks he did with Billy Squire in 1986, Love is the Hero and Lady with a Tenor Sax, the latter being a work in progress mix. That's quite a catchy song. And there's Freddie Mercury and Joe Dare doing Hold On from 1986. There's the cross version of Heaven for Everyone from 1988, the cross being uh, Roger Taylor's band at the time. And then you've got Love Kills, a rock mix and an instrumental. You've got the original demo of The Great Pretender. And then some other demos as well. Holding On, It's So You, I Can't Dance and Keep Smiling. Haunt of Doom and Yellow Breezes, and then we finish with a fan club message, have a nice day. And then you've got a disc of interviews Freddie did with David Wigg, 1979 in London during the Crazy Tour, 1984 in Munich during the Works Tour, 1985 at Wembley in London during the Week of Live Aid, 1986 in London during the Magic Tour, and then an interview in Ibiza for Freddie's 41st birthday in 1987. So that's a really nice selection of tracks across all those CDs. As you can see, there's a hell of a lot there to get through. And then you've got the two DVDs on the end. So you've got the video collection, first of all, which has got the live version of Barcelona, The Great Pretender, the single version, I Was Born to Love You, Time, How Can I Go On?, Made in Heaven, Living on My Own, The Golden Boy, the extended version of The Great Pretender, the uh, music video for Barcelona, the In My Defence re-edit from 2000 and Guide Me Home. 
to a nice selection of videos there. And this video collection was actually released as a standalone DVD in its own right. And then on the other disc, you've got The Untold Story by those who knew him best. That's also got the photographic exhibition on there, which is a DVD-ROM feature, which doesn't work anymore on modern machines, which is a bit of a shame, but then you've got so many photos in the book and in the new and Freddie said anyway that that doesn't matter. There's also nice music on that photographic exhibition which you can actually extract if you um, put the DVD in a machine and look through the folders. Piano versions of um, a few Freddie and Queen tracks which are really lovely by Thierry Lang. So they're nice discs to have. Now these have been superseded by the Lover of Life Singer of Songs DVD compilation which also contains Freddie's promo videos and the Untold Story documentary. However, they are slightly different. The Untold Story, the version on Lover of Life, Stinger of Songs, is a different edit. It's much the same structure, but there are different kind of scenes and interviews in there and things like that, and there's a new narration. So it's a slightly alternative edit of the documentary. And there's also some extra features like the making of the documentary as well. And then for the video collection, they added one new video on the Lover of Life DVD, which was the Living on My Own Radio Mix. And they also added some other extra features as well that aren't on here. And they also um, converted the video commentaries that are on here to audio commentaries. So you've still got the director commentaries for the various videos. Um, but whereas they were actually envisioned video commentaries, you could actually watch the directors talking about the videos on Lover of Life, their audio commentaries. And the photographic exhibition DVD-ROM segment that was on the Untold Story DVD and the Solo Collection box set is also on the DVD with the promo videos in the Lover of Life Singer of Songs DVD set. Slightly updated in terms of the systems it can run on at the time, but still way out of date to run on my system. But that's fine, I don't mind not being able to access that anymore. Um, you know, there's plenty of photos in the book with this solo collection and with the Never Boring set, so I think I've got all the photos that are in the exhibition anyway. But yeah, it still uh, was a nice thing to have at the time, that aspect of it. So yeah, that is the entire track listing for this entire set. As you can see, there's loads here. It's absolutely incredible. And there's so much wonderful stuff on here. It's as comprehensive a collection of Freddy's work as you could possibly hope for. Yes, there are some demos and remixes mixed off. You haven't got the Michael Jackson material on here. So you could argue it's not quite complete, but then could any collection possibly be? It's just as good as you can possibly hope for. It's an amazing collection. You know, perhaps they deserve to re-release it, really, so more people have a chance to get hold of it. And then, as if all that to listen to wasn't enough, you've then got the book, of course. So in the book, you've got the discs. Um, and these are all picture discs, so you've got the album artwork on each of these discs, um, which is lovely. So Mr. Bad Guy, Barcelona, Great Pretender, you've got that artwork on there properly. Um, for the singles, you've got a little collage of the singles. And then for the instrumentals, you've got an image of a piano. Um, so they all look really good. And then on the inside back cover, you've got the other six discs. Um, so you've got Freddy uh, working on the various rarities discs, obviously with the Barcelona disc, you've got Montserrat Caballé on there as well. Um, it's a picture of Freddie being interviewed there, and then you've got the DVD discs as well. So they look really good. Um, as for the book itself, um, you've basically got a load of stuff to read in here. You've got a little um, review of every disc, basically, going track by track through them, talking about you know how they were created and everything. Then after that, you've got uh, Sean O'Hagan writing about Freddie Mercury. You've got a whole section of photographs. You've got lyrics, discography, pre-Queen Life performances, and an index of the CD tracks. So this gives you an idea of just how much text there is to read. There's lots of nice photos in there as well as you go through this text section. I won't go through every page. I'll skip some. But it goes through every track, basically. So you can go through all the rarities and find out what you know each rarity is about, where it's come from, why they've included it, etc. And loads of... Um, writing about Freddie and his life in general. And then obviously you've got a whole long section of photos. There's loads of photos in here. A few little quotes from Freddie throughout, but unlike the other set, this is all about the photos rather than quotes. Um, so you don't get many quotes, but it's explained as to what you know each photo is as you go through. And it's just a huge selection. There's going to be some duplication here with an ever boring set, but this, this book has got far more than the um, never boring set had. Um, in every photo, Freddie just looks amazing. <laughs> it's just fantastic. There he is at, at Wembley. Love that image, love that show. Um, yeah, I'm talking to Wembley, there he is in his uh, robe and his uh, crown. That's a great pretender. There he is with Montserrat Caballé. 
there he is, um, in what he was wearing for the These Are The Days Of Our Lives video, which is a very moving video, and I'm going slightly mad on the other page. So his handwritten notes there. And then, yeah, you've got all the uh, lyrics there for the different tracks. All by small print, but it's fine. Obviously lots of songs. Um, so there's plenty of lyrics there. And then you've got the discography and the pre-Queen Live performances listed on that page. Um, and you've got the index to all the CD tracks. You can see track by track all the different versions that are in the set. And then some credits at the end. So yeah, I mean, this is just an incredible set. I'm so proud that I've got it. It was a present from the family, I think, for my birthday or Christmas. And it is just so special. There's so much in here. It's just amazing. It's really great insight and a celebration of Freddie's work. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Thank you very much for sitting through it all. I've also written a blog post about all this where I kind of review a lot of the tracks and things like that. So go and check out my blog post if you want even more detail and see me rambling on about these further. But for now, thank you very much for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you for another video very soon. Bye.